Analytics allows us to add groups of calculations as categories and individual calculations as measures. Let's look at adding a category called built form. This will operate as a catch-all for all of our built form metrics. We're going to add a measure by clicking this plus and we'll call this residential gross square footage. It will be in square feet and it will relate to all my residential calcs. I'm going to add in the one bedrooms, the two bedrooms, three bedrooms. I'm also going to add in core and corridor as these are gross usage types, not net. And the last one I need to capture is studio. From the properties, the property that we care about that's attached to all these usages is the gross area. I'm going to click on the drop down and type gross. You can see I can select it from either in imperial or metric. In this case, we wanted an imperial and it's component A. So this calculation is just component A summed across all the different features that I have. Let's save that calculation. Now I can also add in my net residential square footage. Let's do that again. Residential net square footage. This will again be in square feet and it applies to my gross area of my one, two, three bedders and my studios, but not my corridors or my core. Again, we'll select gross area in Imperial we'll make it equal A, the component A. So now I have two measures that we want to leverage, our gross square footage and our net square footage. So let's now understand what the efficiency of this residential building is. I will add another calculation, but instead of calculating it from scratch, I'm going to reference the two previous measures residential square, gross square footage, residential net square footage. So net is B over A, the gross, will give us the ratio times 100 will give us a percentage. Let's select the unit percentage and we'll call this efficiency. You can see this building is 90% efficient. And if we were to change our algorithm, have it resolve, you can see our efficiency changing on the fly.